Welcome into Foxwalk Primitive. Uh, you guys have seen on my channel. I've done some work with TM Hunt Custom Knives. I've talked them up. Today on my channel, you're going to get to meet them. Here is Todd Hunt, Mr. TM Hunt, and Mr. Murph. Uh, Todd, what are we looking at here? I see some Yumas and some Trade Waters, but I see some subtle variations to them. What do we got? Uh, everything from the M18 to uh, a lot of our little Hornets, uh, some Mogwas, Yumas, Trade Waters, some fancier stuff, and like you said, just some variations all in between. Which one of these bad boys is most popular right now? Uh, most popular in general or most popular today? Because today, <laughs> today uh, we've been really fortunate. I, I've never, this is our third year as an exhibitor, and I have never sold anything uh, before the doors open. Uh, today, well, we've already up to uh, close to 18 pieces, and you know, the door's been open for an hour, and half of those went before the doors open. So uh, we've already moved uh, a handful of uh, mountains, I guess, and a uh, trade water, and a, uh, a Yuma, and even an M18. So uh, you know that tells me that you know people are actually getting a little bit more familiar with the with the models we have, and that's fantastic news for us. We're real excited about. It. The one that caught my eye and uh, is, is, is gaining a place in my heart is this monster right here, the M18. And uh, I'm going to acquire one, you know, b before the earth ends, you know, I'll have one. And we'll get pretty in depth on it. We'll talk some more about it and, and we'll get some action going. I hear it's already got some action on network television. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Naked As a matter of fact, uh, it was on the Discovery Channel, Naked and Afraid. I it's actually the second one we've made for the show, and uh, this last one got on. It was uh, used by Mr. Zach Buck, and uh, there's a picture of him down there. He's actually going to be here uh, today, and tomorrow he's going to be here for signing autographs, and I'm going to put him to work, let him uh, try to sell some stuff for us. But great guy, a lot of fun, and uh, it was really neat to see it actually. You know, we know what it's capable of, but not everybody else out there does. And, he did the challenge uh, 14 days of it by himself with nothing but the M18, and it seemed to suit him pretty well. He seemed to be he happy. Did, he did pretty well. He adapted to the blade pretty well. With, I mean, almost no break time on how to use it. Right. That design, I mean, it just looks like it's it's just ready to be adapted to. I mean, it looks intimidating. It looks like, wow, I've never messed with anything like that before. You get it in hand, and it just speaks to you. I, mean, I have a real soft spot in my heart for... Bowie knives, and I just love doing stuff to where I can be totally free creatively. And these are just things that, when I'm locked away by myself, these are the kinds of things that happen. Um, yeah, pick it all up. Feel free. Take it. Now, you're you're gonna look at this thing, and you're gonna think that is one beautiful piece of steel, and you're right. And if you bought it, you'd set it up to display. But Todd would tell you, if you don't use it, you're doing it an injustice. If you can just get yourself to stab it in something, I mean, it's it's just an awesome knife to hold. I mean, it, it feels like a user. It looks like a collectible, but it feels like a user. We have a picture of our last uh, one we made last year, uh, brass back, totally file worked, uh, engraved. And we have uh, the guy that got it. You know, he's, he's a collector, but he's a user as well. Uh, the first time he took it out, I got a picture of the back, and it's literally buried into a stump about six inches. Uh, it ended up on a form, and people were grimacing. And I was like, man, I couldn't be happier. That's fantastic. I love it. I love it. And this is just about as ornate as one can possibly get in a little package. I mean, I, I really like the little finger guard there. And I, I just love the way this thing feels in the hand. It just looks like it'd be a lot of fun to use. And it's got it's got the TM Hunt almost trademarked heart hole. I actually had a, piece, a couple more pieces here with that, and they've already gone. So. Yeah, I'm, I noticed that one's marked sold. Yeah, it is marked sold. sold. And I'm guessing a lot of this stuff is going to go out the door before the show's over. I hope so. That's what we're here for. Thank you very much, Todd. A pleasure, as always.